hello friends in this video i'm gonna start from where we left off in previous video so let me show what we have now so far so you can see that we have this uh, navigation bar which has sub menu here and when we resize it to almost about less than 540 pixels you can see that we have this menu so showing up but this is isn't working Mm, to make it work we just have to add a class uh, which is active class when someone clicks on this to do that we are going to use jquery so you can see that i have already included jquery file at the end uh, which is this one you can get this file from jquery cdn let me show you here you can type jquery cdn you can click here and simply go to this version here which is uncompressed and when you click on this just grab this url from here and go to your html file and paste this up here okay now let's go ahead and write the script here so first of all i'm gonna write document document then we write red event and inside this we're gonna create a function and let's create two variables here first will ul nav and this will be equal to the id nav that we have assigned to our main ul element let me show you what i am talking about you can see that there is an id applied to this uh, ul element so we are writing this and we want to create another variable open nav and this will be equal to the active class okay now we gonna go ahead and write and click event on our toggle menu icon so we can do that by simply writing here toggle menu then on click event on click event and create a function create a function for pass event e and let's check if ulnav has any class called openf which is equal to active class is applied which is active uh, here you can write openf if it is already applied to this ulnav element um, we are gonna simply remove that class so i can write ulnav dot remove class and which class we want to remove open nav if it is already applied okay else otherwise we're gonna add this class so i can go ahead and write ul nav then add class and let's say open nav okay and let's write prevent the default action of our anchor element by writing prevent default function here okay which is passed to every anonymous function inside javascript okay now jump into browser hit refresh resize it and now click on this icon now you can see that you, you can toggle the active class so that you can navigate to your menu items by clicking on this on mobile size devices so that's all now one thing more is left to do here uh, and we want to give some space above this logo here so we can simply go into our mobile device and just set here mobile display to 2 RAM inside this media query and hit refresh now you can see it. we have provided space 
and you can also toggle between your menu icon so guys we have built our navigation bar using pure html5 css3 and little bit of javascript so that's all so guys if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't subscribed and and please provide feedbacks in comment section bye bye take care